Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Lil Cyberspace, here to talk to you guys. Another video. I know it's informative. It's not necessarily a how to do this or how to do that, but it is really important to remember because sometimes we gotta learn shit. We always gotta learn shit. Every day, learn shit. So the important thing today is how to tell the difference between an indica, a sativa, and a hybrid. I know you hear a lot of myths. A lot of people don't know. Growing up in California, it's kind of a culture. You kind of have a luxury of in places where uh, it's medicinally grown or recreationally grown, where you kind of know what strain it is. But a lot of people across the world don't. So that's this is for them. Shout out you guys. And we're going to teach you guys about what's up. So like, comment, and subscribe on this video below. And follow us on all social medias at Hurricane Rolls, hashtag Hurricane Rolls. Do that shit if you smoke weed because it's tight. Anyways, okay, so Indica Sativa and Hybrid. Um, we're gonna know how do you know off of smell and texture basically, um, and taste pretty much. Um, and we're gonna know what makes you feel, what, it, what how you're feeling about it. So the first one I like to start with is my personal favorite is the Indica. This is what I like to call the super stoner shit. Like this is for people who smoke like 10 times a day, whatever, um, give or take some. And basically what it is, is that's like the sleepy weed, the shit that puts you to sleep, the shit that makes you, uh, you know, whatever, droopy, your eyes droopy, it makes you hungry, munchies. The more classic weed smell, it's more dank, it's more heavy, it's much heavier than like a sativa or hybrid. Um, and it's pretty sticky, you'll get some orange hairs in there and some crystals, and it'll have sort of a darker color. Most indicas have a darker color, darker tint of green, as opposed to the sativas or the hybrids. And um, dense, you'll get pretty dense nugs, pretty big dense nugs. So that's how you'll know. And when you smoke the indica, yes, it is, uh, doesn't make you sleepy. And um, it does kind of burn you out if you smoke a lot of it during the day. So just be aware of that um, if you do choose to smoke an indica. Um, there's also sativa. Sativa is the one that keeps you awake. Um, it pretty much is not a body high. You're not feeling like you're moving slow-mo. You're not feeling like you're like droopy or tired. You're feeling awake. You're seeing colors more vividly. Um, it's acting with different receptors in your brain and you're actually like, ah, oh, I'm here, I'm alive. Um, I personally don't smoke sativa that much because I feel like it keeps going straight to my head if I smoke a lot of it. So that's why I don't smoke sativa a lot. But you'll know it's sativa. This is that pungent, that stuff that stings your nose, that stuff that makes you sneeze when you smell it, that stuff that smells like cat urine or like some gross, some, some pine salt type shit. Um, it burns your nose hairs. That's how you know that it's sativa. It keeps you awake and it's really light green. Really good sativa is really light green and crystalline and really, really, really light orange hairs. Um, is how I know. Um, and then recently, like, I think hybrids have pretty much taken over the game because everyone, some people like this, this is my favorite indica, this is my favorite sativa, so why not just blend them? Um, it, a hybrid is pretty much 50% of both, and it's going to make you feel just like neutral. You're going to feel, you know, just like classic effects of weed, just amazing effects, clearer, vivider, not too tired, but still you're going to feel that little resistance. It's going to feel really perfect. It's really perfect for any stoner hybrid is. Anybody who smokes weed, I suggest a hybrid. Um, some of the most famous, famous strains in the last couple of years, all the cookies, hybrids, you know, the platinum cookies and all that stuff. Um, the good thing about hybrids is it leaves your fingers really sticky. That's another key for uh, rolling a hybrid. You'll know it's a hybrid if you have those dense nugs on the outside and then you break it open and it smells even more. Like it didn't even smell that much before, but as soon as you broke open that nug, it smelled way more and your fingers got way stickier. There was more crystals. That's how you know um, a good sign of a hybrid. I do like hybrids for edibles too. Hybrids are really good. It makes people feel them. Um, a lot just as well as indicas or sativas do but a hybrid gives you more of just like a clean and a balanced high a neutral high and i think that's what everybody likes everybody just wants to elevate a bit you know so again the finalized thing to remember indica makes you go to sleep dark dank smell sativa light light green pungent light orange hairs burns your nose keeps you awake goes straight to your head not really in your body and then a hybrid neutral high for normal elevation, kind of a harder core on the outside, and the inside is a little more crystally sticky, leaves your fingers sticky if you break it down, and uh, you kind of get the best of both worlds, somewhere in between that dark, dank smell and that light, pungent, pungent smell. 
If you thought this video was informative, dude, just give us a like, comment, and subscribe. It's two seconds out of your day, and we love you. We want to teach you guys what's up, and we want to learn from you guys. So follow us on all social medias, at Hurricane Rules, hashtag Hurricane Rules, and don't forget to smoke weed every single day. Thank you, guys.